my name is Ashley. I'm a physical therapist here at Physical Therapy and Balance Center in Rockville. So today we are going to do a short routine of seated core exercises. So these are exercises for those ab muscles. So that's obviously a really important muscle group. And for a lot of you, you might be wondering, you know, how can I strengthen my abs without getting on and off the floor? Maybe you're a little bit limited in terms of mobility, but you have some weakness in your abs and you, you know, really want to strengthen that muscle group. So that's great, and that's what we're going to show you today. So I'm going to take you through about eight or nine exercises. The only equipment you need is a chair. So let's get started. So what you're going to do first is just scoot all the way to the edge of your chair. And one thing to, to keep in mind during this is that you want to be sitting up nice and tall. So that allows you to really engage those ab muscles. So you wanna make sure you have really good posture. The other thing that you wanna make sure throughout this entire workout, aging those core muscles and really making an active effort to squeeze those abs and to use your abs, um, you're not really gonna get the benefits of these exercises. So those are the two things to keep in mind. Nice tall posture, make sure you engage your abs. All right, so the first exercise we're gonna do is lean back in your chair, kind of as far as you can go. You want to keep a nice flat back and then you're just going to come right back up. So this is kind of a version of a seated crunch. So I'm going to lean back, really engage those ab muscles. This is really challenging and then come right back up. So we're going to do about five of those. Lean back and back up. You want to make sure you're not losing that ab contraction. No slumping. And back up. You want to make sure you keep breathing throughout these two. And back up. Okay, so that's the first exercise. The next one, we're going to engage our obliques. So those are the muscles kind of on the sides of your trunk here. So what you're going to do is clasp your hands, put them behind your head so your elbows are out to the side. Again, you're going to squeeze those ab muscles and twist to one side. Then you're going to come back to the center, twist to the other side. So you should really be squeezing those abs, feeling those abs work, engaging your core. It's a really good one for the obliques. You're going to do about five to each side. is the next exercise. What you can do for this one is kind of grab onto the edges of your chair for just a little bit of added stability. You're going to bring your legs out straight in front of you with your heels on the ground and then you're going to bend your knees and tap your toes kind of behind you. So we're going to do that a few times. So remember you really want to be engaging that core. So all the way out straight heels on the ground, bend the knees, touch the toes to the floor. So your abs might be burning right now, that's okay, keep going, you're doing great. I'm going to do two more. Try to keep that nice good tall posture. So the next exercise we're gonna do is called a climber. Basically what you're gonna do is raise your opposite leg and arm. So it's gonna look just like this. So you really wanna squeeze those abs. You want your upper body staying as still as it can. So you don't wanna be going from side to side. That means you're not really using your core muscles effectively. You wanna use those muscles and stabilize and raise the opposite arm, opposite leg. next one we're going to do is kind of similar to that, but we're not going to do anything with our arms. Instead of a seated march or a knee raise. So what you could do again is kind of grab onto the bottom of your chair for a little bit of stability and we're just going to march in place. So again, remember to engage that core. You shouldn't be swaying from side to side here. Upper body should be staying nice and still. And you're just going to march up and down. So that's the marches. So next exercise, we're going to do a little bit of a side reach. 
So if your chair has arms like mine does, you might need to scoot forward a little bit more. So you're really on the edge of the chair there. We'll go to the right first. So you're gonna put your left hand on your left knee. And then what you're gonna do with your right arm is reach down towards your side and back up. And we're gonna switch sides. So right hand on the right knee, take the left hand, reach down towards the side, really squeeze those abs. alternating sides. You want to make sure you're coming back to a neutral posture in between. You don't just want to go one side and then the other. It's a good way to hurt your back. So make sure you're coming back to neutral and then going to the opposite side. And again, you want to keep that nice flat back. Don't lose that posture. Next, this one's a little bit more challenging. We're gonna do a version of a seated bicycle. So what you can do for this one, go ahead and grab onto the bottom of your chair again. You're gonna have to lean backwards a little bit. And then what you're gonna do is kick your legs out in front of you like you're pedaling a bicycle. So it's gonna look like this. So this one is pretty challenging. If you can only do a couple seconds of that, that's okay, but that's a great way to kind of engage those lower abs. Um, so that's a really good one. And then we just have one more. So this is another really challenging exercise. Instead of a single knee raise, we're gonna do a double knee raise. Um, so same thing as before, you're gonna go ahead and grab onto the bottom of the chair. You're gonna lean back a little bit, and this time you're gonna raise both of your knees up at the same time. So just like that. Really tighten up those core muscles. Keep that nice flat back. If you can't do this one, that's okay. You can go right ahead and, and keep doing a few of those marches. That's a really good exercise as well. Um, but for those of you that are that are able to do this one, it's a, it's a really good exercise. All right, um, so that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed our routine here and keep an eye out for more.